Hey everyone. Hey there guys, Unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have an exciting update for Avengers The King Dynasty. Although it is extremely difficult to make the overall movie as the writer reveals, although nonetheless it's an update for the next Avengers movie. With that there being said, let's go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video we're going to be taking a read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As they read, Avengers The King Dynasty writer Jeff Levinus revealed just how difficult it is putting together the upcoming MCU team up for Avengers 5 The Kane Dynasty. Levinus, whose previous work includes Rick and Morty and Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, was confirmed to be writing the Avengers sequel last fall, garnering plenty of praise from the MCU and beyond. And since taking on the project recently, Levinus has been vocal about how all work on Avengers 5 has been going, teasing a number of heroes set up for the superpower blockbuster. And so, the Marvel Studios writer has not offered much in terms of actual plot details, of course, I think it's pretty obvious because he has to sign a bunch of contracts and everything like that to not reveal stuff like that and afford the Kane Dynasty movie, but that may be because the details still have yet to be sorted out exactly as well. Now, recently speaking on the Friends from Work podcast, Avengers the Kane Dynasty writer Jeff Levinus opened up about the difficulties that come with writing this particular Avengers movie. Levinus remarked that it's almost a comedic how hard this challenge is as the screenwriter is asked to put together the film that will follow up Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, two of the biggest and most beloved movies of all time. Saying that in full quote, I think, like, obviously, it's almost comedic how hard this challenge is. It's like, oh no, you have to follow up Endgame and Infinity War, both made about $2 billion and everyone loves it, ending that quote right there. The Kane Dynasty writer laminated that it has been nice to have a buddy in Avengers Secret Wars writer Michael Waldron as he goes through all of this, saying that in full quote, so it's just been really nice to have a buddy in Avengers Secret Wars, the writer for Michael Waldron for that movie that's going to be the next Avengers movie after uh, Avengers The Kane Dynasty that you can kind of joke about with this. It's all like, oh yeah, we have quite literally, like on paper, what may be the hardest job in the world as far as movies go, but I don't know. I'm just trying to not to think about it and write a movie that I would like and, well, see how it goes. Ending that quote right there, it may seem that Avengers 5, the next Avengers movie, might have a little bit of a problem. What is that problem? The article reads that no matter who was going to tackle Avengers the Kang Dynasty, despite it being Jeff Levinus or any other writer out there, these difficulties are going to come up no matter what. It is all a tall task to take on a project where expectations are on a biggest movie of all time level, and this is not the first time Levinus has spoken about the internal struggle he has been having over the Avengers 5 script. The screenwriter also spoke on the challenge of trying to connect all 30 movies, Marvel, of course, in the MCU together, and even beyond that for Avengers The K Dynasty and for also what Avengers Secret Wars could and maybe should actually set up and have in those movies, such as featuring X-Men characters or maybe having Fantastic Four. So even then, I think it goes beyond those 30 minute, 30, 30 overall uh, movies that we already have in the MCU, and then also bringing in like the shows and everything like that there as well is a whole nother level. Yet, yeah, tell an interesting story, though, that still stands out on its own as well. Maybe that you wouldn't have to necessarily go through and watch the entirety of the MCU to actually understand it. This is not to say that fans should be worried about the King Dynasty, though, however, it is that in the same interview that Levinus remarked that they've got a plan and it's going to be very exciting with the Avengers. This is just a case of creative writers opening up and being transparent during the Marvel Studios process, which is something that should be celebrated by fans and not all that looked down upon. Now from there, that is where the article concludes and as I had mentioned at the beginning of this video I have this article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well I want to quickly apologize I know I'll put like a text disclaimer at the beginning of this video for my voice throughout this video I'm a little bit under the weather anyway I'm already starting to feel better just making this video alone Avengers the Kang Dynasty last we heard about is going to be hitting theaters on May 2nd of 2025 although Comic-Con this summer could make that for something different and actually push this project back it is a really in a case like this pun intended I think with that seeing that we're dealing with timelines in the multiverse, only time will tell. Of course, I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you guys want to see with Avengers 5 and the future of the MCU regarding its movies and its shows? I would love to hear what you guys all think in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.